Hey folks, it's Jake Davis on the Flyer Review for you, and tonight I'm talking about Licorice Pizza, which was released last Friday, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson and starring Cooper Hoffman, uh, Alana Haim, or Haim, I'm not exactly sure how that name's pronounced, excuse me, uh, Sean Penn, Bradley Cooper, John C. Riley, Christine Ebersole, Tom Watts, uh, or Waits, whatever, <laughs> um... Uh, John Michael Higgins and Mary Elizabeth Ellis, I think. The waitress from It's Always Sunny. Um, uh, Alana is the, 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 the girl is from the, that group Ham, or Hyam. Yeah, you know, the three sisters who had like that, that one hit song about eight or nine years back. Uh, <laughs> and Hoffman is the son of the late, great Philip Seymour Hoffman. And this film takes place in the sun, in a, Sorry, the Golden State in 1973. I live in the Sunshine State, fuckers. God damn, man, it's about to do a, a masterpiece slip there. Anyhow, it takes place in 1973 in California, and Hoffman plays a teenage actor who's a bit of a hustler. You know, he's, he's also selling water beds, he's also selling pinball machines, and he's also selling weed. <laughs> and his friendship and eventual budding romance with a woman 10 years his elder, who is kind of an aimless loser. She's not bad, really, like, at anything. She's kind of one of those people who can do pretty much anything she wants, but doesn't really buckle down and focus on shit. Um, which is mainly why she's hanging out with a 15-year-old the whole movie. <laughs> uh... It's a really good movie, with a very, very, very charming characters, possible star-making performances especially from Hoffman, and uh, a great soundtrack, which you know, that's always a go-to with uh, Paul Thomas Anderson movies. Uh, costumes look great, and I just enjoyed this movie. The story is just kind of really jumping around. There's lots of just one-scene performances from actors just being absolutely terrific, but sometimes playing real people, sometimes playing obvious, uh, uh, this is supposed to be Lucille Ball, this is supposed to be William Holden, this kind of stuff, all throughout the movie. Uh, Bradley Cooper is just great in his short little bit in the film. It's, it was a very entertaining movie, but I will cri have to criticize this and Call Me By Your Name. That's two movies in the last few years that really seem to romanticize uh, statutory relationships, also known as statutory rape. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, if it was, you know, one, it was a gay couple. And one was an older girl and a younger guy. And I just, I, you got to believe if they made a movie about a man in his early 30s hooking up with a 15, 16 year old girl, people would be creeped out by it, by it and rightfully so. But I just don't understand. It's somehow romantic if it's any other combination. No, still creepy. Still pretty creepy. Uh,. Yeah, other than that, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this movie. It had a great script, great score, um, uh, I mean, the music, you know, soundtrack, and it looked real good. It was a fun, fast-moving movie, even though I was surprised it was over two hours long by the time the thing was over. It's like, oh, shit, that went that long. But, uh, yeah, Licorice Pizza, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. A very entertaining, very charming movie, even if it's still kind of creepy. It's creepy. Sorry. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.